Hey y'all, Spooky Pops here. This is the complete quest guide to investigate the suspicious toys in Baldur's Gate 3. I'll take you through the, the complete full quest, where it starts, Arthur's basement, how to find the blackmail letter, where you find the evidence of the lace toys with explosives. Then we'll go and talk with Arthur and Charest Cress and go to the final location at the fireworks store. So hope you enjoy this guide to investigate the suspicious toys in Baldur's Gate 3. So the quest chain actually begins right outside Arthur's mansion. You can come across this commotion outside his, his house, and I don't know if it's necessary or not, but there is a skill check that you can detect his thoughts. If you complete the skill check, you can kind of glean the information that there is something nefarious happening in his basement. And that is why he's so mad at these people staying in his house. But either way, let's take you to inside his house where you can gain access to his basement. So there is a hatch within this room just inside Arthur's mansion. You can unlock it and then you go into his basement. Once you're down in his basement, you need to be very careful because there are a lot of traps along this basement that are, are laced with explosives. So I basically sent a Starion through the basement disarming trap by trap. Once you're done disarming the majority of the traps within the basement, there's a room back here with a chest. You want to be very careful with this chest. It also has a trap that you need to disarm. But once you're done unlocking the chest, you can grab this blackmail letter. And once you read the letter, you realize and gain the information that Arthur is complicit in this plot to lace refugee toys with explosives. So the next place you need to go is the requisition barn right below Arthur's mansion. You can go back and talk with Arthur at the Charest Caress, but it will be to no avail. He won't admit to anything. So once you're at the requisition barn, this is where you actually gain the evidence of the laced explosives within the toys. So there's plenty of ways to do this, I'm sure, but I was able to talk with the kind of guard, one of the Flaming Fists guard outside of this barn. I skill checked my way into the barn and just down this stairwell, just off to the left hand side of the barn, you can find the evidence you are looking for. So just off to the left hand side of that stairwell leading into the barn, there's a room with a crate in it. You want to be, again, you want to be super careful with this crate because it is also armed with a, an explosive. So you want to use a Starion or whoever you have as your sleight of hand master to disarm the crate. Once disarmed, you can then find the evidence of the toys that are laced with explosives. This guy came up to me when I was rummaging through the crate, but it is also a way of progressing the quest because you can skill check and tell him, hey, um, there are toys that are laced with explosives. And he says, oh no. <laughs> um, once you're once you're at this part, you then go back to Arthur at Charest Caress. So to confront Arthur, you go to the Charest Caress within the kind of upper city. He can be found in the, one of the back rooms, just this back room right here. If you go through this curtain, you go off to the right and then you can talk with Arthur and con essentially confront him. Through a series of dialogue choices, Arthur will indeed admit to being involved with his conspiracy to lace toys with explosives, toys that are destined for refugees. The final piece of information he tells you is a passcode to get into the fireworks store in the lower city. So the fireworks store is located in the lower city right here on the map. Once you are at this fireworks store, he did give you a passcode that allows you to go onto the upper floor, but I didn't find it super helpful because there were guards blocking the very, very top floor. I actually cheesed this fight. I sent a starry in invisible and I literally just blew up this top floor and that kind of started the fight in heavily, heavily in my favor. I'm sure there are a variety of ways to do this, but once you're done with the fight, you are done with the quest because you've stopped this nefarious plot to lace the toys with explosives. So that is the complete quest guide of investigate the suspicious toys in Baldur's Gate 3. If you are enjoying my guides and, and my Baldur's Gate 3 content, 
consider subscribing to the channel for more, more guides and more content, which I'll be coming out with. Enjoy Spooky Pops out.